We're going to call this video right here, this is an expound. And it's, I'd rather be dusty than dead. See, for years and years and years, I could claim for the better part of six or seven, but we'll just say for the last four years, women have thrown around this term real loosely, dusty, right? And what I think dusty is, is what their idea is, is a nothing ass nigga who wants what a real man, what they perceive as a real man is somebody who's in control, has power over things, right? That's what they think a real man is, right? Follow me. Give me a moment. And they say that he wants the benefits that a real man gets. That's dusty to them. They say dusties don't build, right? Meaning that they have no construction skills, no electrician skills, no plumbing skills, they're not artisans of any sort. Uh, what else? They're not warriors. And outright just irresponsible. That is a dusty in a hole, right? In a nutshell. Without becoming vulgar or, uh, or derogative. Now, why I say I'd rather be a dusty than be dead, even though that doesn't apply to me, even though women within a certain space, like to try to throw that term around, I swear only at me. I don't call the other ones Dusty. Well, they call a couple of them Dusty, but, you know, I'm Dusty number one to them. And, and I'm just going to say, I'd rather be Dusty than dead. Like, I'd rather be a deadbeat dad than be a dead dad. The same way, right? You know, uh, it does a man no good for anyone to be dead or locked up. Does zero good. But the, the reason why your streets are falling apart are not because of dusty black men. No, it's because of dusty white men. The reason why you have dope in your neighborhoods aren't because of, listen, dusty black men. No, 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 no. It's because of dusty white men. But they'd rather be dusty than be dead. Come on now. Let's just go ahead and break it all down. So I would rather be the recipient of a person who's actually supposed to be in power, have the ability to, to not let this happen and take place. But they would rather see all of us go out, get killed in a futile effort, so that way they could go and lay down with white men and anybody else who's not a black man. And then claim, well, all of our men died, so there's no one else. I'd rather be dusty than dead. Follow me. The fact that you could even spew that kind of nonsense to a brother like myself. See, I don't consider myself top flight security of the world, but it's okay. Other people do. Let me tell y'all something. I'm so dusty. The other day, I promised to God I was outside coming across the street to my home. I had a bottle of wine just like this, right? And a paper bag uh, similar to this one. I see this black individual. Yelling, little so-called dreadlocks. I think it's a young man because of the level of the vehemency and the, the aggression I'm seeing. I say, hey, chill out, bro, chill out. Sis, whoever, chill out. They began to go off on me. I say, I just said to chill. Now, people be like, why don't you mind your business? I, see, once again, I'm dusty. Dusty niggas don't mind their business. Dusty niggas look out for other black people, hoping to God that white people don't gun them down. Right on? That's what dusty niggas do. So, me being so damn dusty, I'm trying to look out for another so-called dusty. So it could be dusty. I don't want to see them get dusted, okay? And impose to them listening to me, right? They come at me. Follow this. About four feet from me, I realize it's a female. I already got my arm out for my reach, you know what I mean? And I'm already ready to just knock this person's head off. But once I realize it's a female, I have to come at a whole other approach. I'm like, no matter what, Demetrius, you don't win. If you kill her right on with this punch, because I'm, I'm planning on hitting you. And then if you go out, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get on top of you and keep hitting you. You feel me? Like, just to the fact that you acted so... I'm, in my mind, I was like, I'm about to beat this person to death. You feel me? When I realized it was a female, I was like, I can't even do that. There are some brothers over there who I thought would see that I did the right thing. 
Now, these brothers did what I think a real dusty ass nigga would do. One brother acknowledged me. I'm not going to throw him under the bus. The other nigga going to talk to me like, I'll put my hands on both of y'all. Now, mind y'all, I don't have a tank top on. Can't nobody see you. you don't, they, they can't see how I'm built at all when they say this to me. I got a t-shirt on that's covering my arms up to my forearms. So I think cuz just thinks I'm just like this little skinny ass nigga who, you know, he can just come over here and manhandle. I'm like, oh, man. I said, you right, bro. It's all good, bro. I don't even sweat it, fam. You right. He's like, I don't know why you talking to me. You talking to her. He talking all crazy, right? So finally, I'm walking back across. This little stupid ass person grabs my bag, the female, and throws it in the street. My duffel bag has my sword in it. This same very sword right here. Now, when she's walking up, I don't. She's not even a threat to me, so there's no. I don't even get the sword out. I want y'all to understand this right here. This sword is extremely sharp. I'm not joking right now. There was a point this sword came out the other day, right? And the reason why I took it out is because this person faked like they had a gun. Where once I had pulled my sword out my bag to show this nigga and these other niggas, like, bro, I was like, cause y'all act like I pulled out this big ass sword and was acting crazy, bro. You know what I mean? I just had to show him like, cuz, like, I had this the whole time. What are y'all, what are you, what are you saying to me, dude? Like, I don't even, I, I couldn't really understand his notion towards me because I'm thinking in my mind, like, there's three or four of them black people to me. I First off, if y'all approach me and got aggressive, it's going to get physical, but I know I'm getting in this bag and getting this sword out. One of the dudes seen the sword and was like, oh, wow. Like it hit his mind like, this nigga just let you talk to him like that and everything, bro. And if he really, if this nigga was really feeling some type of way, like black people know when a nigga loses it, he done lost it. You think you, you think I care about dying if I, if I, stop playing with me. Anyway, if I go there, who cares about dying? Once again, anybody who's ever been there understands. But I say, I'd rather be dusty than be dead. Having said that, see, I live in a nice part of town, right? So the little, the little lesbian faggot chick follows me, right? You know, the same kind of chick who would yell Black Lives Matter after a black man like me loses his life. That kind of chick follows me, right? Up to my abode because uh, a little situation had occurred. I'm not going to tell you what exactly what happened, but let me just say this right here. I had a chance to kill her and I didn't. So I pat myself on the back for that. She faked like she had a gun, and I put myself in a position to defend myself. And then once I realized you don't have any kind of weapon at all, you're totally fucked. And I just had to show her, like, if I wanted to do something to you, I could have. You know, she tried to walk up and act like she was tough after the fact, but she didn't put her hands on me because she pretty much... And they're talking about, you pulled a knife on a woman, you pulled a sword on a woman, it takes... I'm like, I didn't pull a sword on you. She didn't even understand the... The, the purpose of me showing the sword was to show everybody like, cuz, like, first off, y'all niggas is acting like I'm out here wilding out and acting up. Fuck is wrong with y'all? Number two, right on? Bitch, I didn't even pull it on your sorry ass, because had I pulled it on you, I'd have used it on your motherfucking ass. Number three, when I actually unsheathed the weapon and I had a moment where my t all, this is where I became a dusty, where all my fucking judgment and everything left me for a moment. And I heard a woman say, what's going on? And that's when I came back to my senses, like, oh, shit, bro. You're about to do something crazy, cuz. Fall back, bro. See, same same dusty-ass bitch out there talking shit about me, talking shit to me, talking about she's a Hoover, she's a this, she's a that. Check this out. Why the cops get called later on? Uh, the cops came out there later for some odd reason. And I just went upstairs. I changed my clothes. You know, I'm a I'm, I'm player like that. But I go back downstairs, and the cops is out there. And I'm like, damn. I bet you this bitch called the cops. See, this is what I'm saying right here. I don't trust you fucking motherfucking dirty ass females, number one. Okay? I don't. I don't trust you. You're not trustworthy. You do nothing that merits trust. Okay? So you can keep name calling a motherfucking nigga. How about this right here? I know there's going to be more chicks who die single and alone with no man to protect them. Come the final moments. Hell, fuck it. I know there's more chicks who are going to want to throw themselves at the feet of a man when they realize what's about to happen. How about that?
when they realize what's really coming down the pipes. But don't worry about it, though. I, I don't know nothing. Everybody else know everything. I'd rather be a dusty ass nigga than a dead nigga. How about that? A dusty nigga who done paid his rent, paid his bills, that maintained his obligations. I'd rather be a dusty ass nigga if that's what a dusty ass nigga is. Fuck all the other nonsense. See, sometimes you just have to do the right thing. Right on? And the right thing isn't what you think it is all the time. Normally, as I will contend, and I will always say to y'all, the right thing to do is almost always, normally, the hard thing to do. So the hard thing to do was not, is not to hit her in the head with the sword, right? Yesterday, right? Or to slice her across her body because I have you beat. That's not the hard thing to do. The hard thing to do is to not do that to you. Though I have you be, and you deserve to die. See what I'm saying? Check this out. I'd rather be a dusty ass nigga and say, fuck it, let this stupid ass bitch live, than be dead in the sense that now I gotta run for the rest of my days, look over my shoulder, or get taken down by law enforcement. I'm not worried about, I won't see, I, I need y'all to understand, I'm not, I'm not, white people don't scare me. You niggas don't scare me. Nobody scares me. When niggas be talking all that crazy shit, what they'll do, they're normally almost always in groups. I be by myself. People be talking to me wild and reckless because they're, they're mobbing together with dudes. I'm just me, right on? But once they realize I'm, 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 I'm equipped, it changes everything. Because when you see a sword, changes your whole, trust me. I need y'all to understand, this is a very sharp piece of material, you know what I'm saying, you know, I can't stress enough, right, just to get the slice on it the right way, y'all see what I'm saying, just to get the slice on it the right way, and this is a paper bag, so I have to hold it a certain way to even get the tension right, and I didn't yak all the way through to ruin it, but just look how fine that slice is, okay, sort of sharp and I'm not going to do nothing stupid in here to prove a point <laughs> understand me it's not a dull sword by any stretch of anybody's imagination I'm saying people are like oh a really sharp sword would it just went right down and stand in front of my sword if you want to <laughs> let me barely touch you with it if you want to and we'll see what happens I, I, I promise you're not going to like the results. I can guarantee you're not going to like the results. Having said that, I'm quite sure that the person who talked about whose hands he would put on who and who, it probably crossed his mind that this man could have actually inflicted great bodily harm upon you just based on what you said because I didn't threaten that man. I sought validation for doing the right thing. See, this is what happens when you're dusty. I guess. All those dudes out there getting called dusty. And I don't mean real ain't shit ass niggas. Nothing ass niggas. Right. Did I say ain't shit nothing ass niggas what I am? No. They just assume I don't know how to do construction or a paint or anything. They, don't, they, they just assume I just don't know how to do nothing. That's the blessing though. I don't tell them I know how to do anything either. You don't, you don't get to get a blessing of my skills while you get to diminish me and speak down to me. Hold on. And furthermore, you don't get the blessing of my skills while claiming to be the people and exhibit none of the features. <laughs> How about that? See, that's fucking bullshit. Anybody can use a hammer and nails. Anybody can do that. Everybody doesn't know where to start as to actually how to get something going. We're not talking about prior experience. We're talking about for the first time ever, just thinking about it. How do I get it done? See, I'm so dusty. I got it figured out. I'm going to ride this dusty thing out. I like it. I like that title. You know, it's earthy. I'm an earth sign. I'm an earth sign. So I, why would I get mad at being called dirt? God made me from that, right? The most high God made Adam from that, right? So why should I be mad at being called dusty?
And why should you be bothered by it? My friends, my brothers, I say to you, peacefully, you had better be dusty than be dead, okay? You'll do no good to anyone. And to come that day, I'd rather be a dusty ass nigga with seven women groveling at my feet for my dustiness to be all over them because they was wrong the whole time. Can you dig that? Then to be out here and thinking that the people that I'm talking bad about who actually have all the skills that I want, desire, and need are going to come help, please. Come on. I salute y'all. This is really just for the dudes. So if chicks listen, that's just because they're stupid. Right on? And they just want to feel special. Invite yourself on everything. Brothers, <laughs> I would much rather be dusty than be dead. I'd rather be a deadbeat dad than be a dead dad. Can you dig it? Stay alive. Because he who laughs last, laughs longest and laughs loudest.